Good evening, Marcela. Hello, Marisela. Hello, Maricela. Can you hear me now? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm pretty well. Thanks for asking. How was your day? Good. Good, okay. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué es ahora? Este, acabo de terminar el módulo hasta ahorita. Ah, perfecto. <ríe> Muy bien. Ajá, pero ya, ya estuvo. No sé si este, mandan a decir algo o... Eh, solamente oh. debe fijarse en el progreso que tenga el 100% y el diploma que ya a partir del 80% le sale ahí el botoncito para descargarlo. No sé si ya lo vio. Ah, en eso no me fijé. Ah, ok. No. Eh, si quiere le muestro. Voy a hacerlo después. A ver. Vaya, está bien. Ajá. Lo vemos acá solamente para que se ubique. Acá en la parte donde dice progress. Vaya, está bien. Damos clic. Uh -huh. A ver. Ajá, entonces acá no sale el progreso. Por supuesto, yo no he completado, entonces no me sale. Pero uh -huh. al llegar hasta acá, la marca del 80% se habilita lo que es el diploma. 
Y acá, si no me equivoco, en esta esquina superior derecha debería de aparecer el botón de descargar diploma o download diploma o certificate, algo así dice. Ahí se puede descargar. Ah, vaya, está bien. Uh -huh. Entonces, este, lo voy a hacer después de la clase. Ok. Para verificar. Yes, that's good. Uh -huh. Porque sí, ya. Uh -huh. Ya estuvo. Y, y entonces la otra semana inicia el módulo 2. Fíjese que en realidad no estoy segura. Yo creo Van que en corridos. este año ya no tendríamos más niveles por ser fin de año, ¿verdad? Sí, normalmente sí van corridos. A veces hay un día o dos de descanso dependiendo de cómo salgamos. Ah. Pero sí, normalmente eh, después de, de terminar un día jueves, iniciamos la siguiente semana el próximo curso. Sin embargo, como le digo, ahora por ser último, último curso del año, pues creo que ya no tendríamos otra entrada. Esperaríamos hasta enero. Sería hasta el otro año entonces. Sí, hasta el próximo. Sí es. Vaya, está bien. Uh -huh. Good evening, Carlota. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Bien. Estoy okay. muy bien. Excelente. ¿Qué tal su día? Muy bien también. Gracias a Dios, todo bien. ¿Y el suyo? Bien, también ahora fue un día tranquilo. No tuve mucho trabajo, así que... La pasé bien, un poco relajada. De veras. Este, mire, con lo de los títulos que ya los empezaron a entregar, o sea, ya me lo enviaron a mí. Digamos, ahí en la plataforma le sale a uno, ¿verdad? No van a entregar en físico, me imagino. Al diploma, solo eso. ¿verdad? No, ahí en la plataforma. Certificados. Si buscan... Sí, exactamente. Eh, ahí en la plataforma, en la parte donde está el progreso. Se tiene que habilitar un botoncito que dice uh -huh. descargar certificado o diploma, algo así. Eh, sí, ya les voy a mostrar uh -huh. en un momento. Solamente, ¿verdad? Sí, así es, solamente eso. Y creo que con las inscripciones uh -huh. ya les notificaron desde el inicio de esta semana que deben enviar nuevamente los documentos para poder inscribirse al módulo que sigue. Sí, ya los envié, solo me falta enviar el, como el formulario. Ah, muy bien. Pues sí, tenemos hasta el 23, si no me equivoco, déjenme revisar. Sí, 23 de diciembre. 23, sí. ¿Y a qué correo se van a enviar? ¿Siempre al mismo? Sí, siempre... Al mismo, o sea, sería el mismo proceso que siguieron para inscribirse a este módulo. Nada más que se hace cada vez que se va a iniciar módulo por cuestiones de, de ah, registro, vaya, ¿verdad? Sí, así es. Vale. Sí, tienen hasta el 23 de diciembre para enviar sus documentos y poder inscribirse al próximo módulo. Bueno. Good evening, Ana Baños. Yo siempre que... Hello, Ana. No answer. Okay, I think we may start right now. We only a few, but let's start. So let me see what we got. So welcome everybody. Today is our last class. We're almost done.
We are going to start with a little spelling exercise, which says spell the verbs in the IMG form. So let's start by asking, let me see, uh, Maricela, can you spell the verb listening? Excuse me? Can you spell the verb listening? So we're going no. to um, get over. It starts with uh, P L A A. Okay. Again, Maricela, G. listening, G. listening, like listening. So it starts with L. Ah, listening. Ah, pensé que yo iba a decir uno. Ah, L E S. Li, no, el, ah, ya me enchivole. Ok, no te preocupes. El, ajá, el. I. Uh, e, I, I, ajá. Li, e, es. Es. I. T, I. Uh -huh. I, en. N. N. I. Okay. N. Yes. N. N. G. Another, okay. G. Listening. Very good, Maricela. Okay. Just before we continue, let's G. review the vowels. We got. A E I O N U. So please, everybody repeat. A. 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 E. 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 A. A. I. I. O. 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 U. O. U. Okay, again. U. A. A, A, E, 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 I, I, O, O, U, o, U. U. Okay, say them all. A, E, I, O, U. Say them, please. A, E, I, O, U. Okay, pretty well. Now let's continue with the spelling. Oh, I erased that. Let me get it again. Okay, Carlota, it's your turn. I want you to spell the verb swimming. F W. Yes. E N E G or I. I. Okay. No, I. Okay. E w I M E A. Pardon. A or I. A. Okay. M. M. G, Carlota. Okay, just remember that swimming takes double M. So we say S W I M M I N G. And again, I need you to practice the vowels. We got A. This one is A. 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 I. A, I, E, I, A, A, I, A, I, A, I, A, I, okay, I. and remember this one is I. E, 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 so we had A, I, E, E, e. A, I, E, repeat please, A, A, A I, I, 
E. A I E. Very good. Okay, Anna. Now let me give you okay. a verb that would be watching. 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 Double. W. A. T. T. I. E. Okay, go back, Anna. We got W A. T. Quatch, quatch. Es la. Ay, la ch. Es C. A. H. H. C. H. E. I. I. N. G. Very good. We got W A T C H I N G. Okay, now let me give one to. Okay. Enrique, Enrique, your verb is say um, doing, doing. Tell it, please. D. Okay. O. Yes. N. No, perdón. You're missing the. Yes. I N I N J G D O I N G. Okay, excellent, Enrique. All right, let me assign another one to Maricela. Maricela, let me give you another verb that's going to be playing. Playing. B. Mm -hmm. L. Yes. A. A. G. G. No. No, no es eso. Okay. <laughs> sí. What is? Why. Why. Uh -huh. Is the I. Yes. M. G. Great. Very good, Maricela. Carlota, you're next. Next one's going to be going. Going. G O I N G. Very good, Carlota. We got G O I N G. Okay, now, Ana, it's your turn again. Your verb is grinding. D or I D. again Anna grinding grinding driving no grinding grinding like grind grind de escribir grinding a w or I C C I N G. Very good. We got W R I T I N G. Okay. Enrique, it's your turn again. Now I want you to go ahead and spell the verb washing. Washing. Arriba lo puso. Oh, this one is watching. Now let's spell washing. Washing the lavar. Okay. Hey. Yes. Sí. Hey. Okay. I. N. G, right. <laughs> okay, so just here we use S. It's W A S I H I N G. Washing. Okay, everybody repeat, please. Listening. 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 
Listening. Swimming. 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 Okay, this one goes like swi swimming. Swim. Swimming. Again, repeat it. Swimming. 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 Watching. 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 Doing. 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 Playing. 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 Going. 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 Grinding. Drying. Washing. Watching. Okay, please repeat. Watching. Watching. Washing. Washing. Okay, just remember this one, watching, it's like watching television, watching a movie. And this one, washing the dishes, washing the car. So just remember to make the difference in pronunciation. Okay. Now let's continue with today's lesson objective. And well, by the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer present continuous WH questions. And additionally, you will practice a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. So let me just go to the platform. Oh, I think we watched the video yesterday, right? Vimos el video ayer, el de, el de las WH. I can't remember. Yes. Do you remember? Yes, we did, right? And we also practiced the conversation. Is that right? Well, let's just review it pretty quickly. Sally is wearing uh, I'm cooking. Why are you? Oh, okay. So we had already practiced the conversation, right? It goes like, Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. So here we can see some of the WH questions in the present continuous. We got, for example, what are you doing? What are you doing? What's another WH question we find here? Tell me, please. ¿Cuáles otras preguntas con WH encontramos en la conversación? Why? Why? Well. Why are you cooking now? What are you cooking, now? Are you what cooking, are you cooking now? Right? Okay, so we got mm -hmm. three different questions. What are you doing? Why are you cooking are now? You and what are you making? Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, Steve? What are you doing, Steve? What are you making? What are you making? Why are you cooking now? Why are you cooking now? Okay. So now let me go back to the presentation so we can continue with this. So we're going to talk a little bit about the WH questions in the present continuous. So, let's get this. Okay, first of all, let's review the WH words, question words. What WH question words do you remember? ¿Cuáles serían las palabras con WH que podemos utilizar para hacer preguntas? What? Okay, what? Why? Why? Who? Where? No sé si así se pronuncia. Who? Ajá, uh -huh, who? Where? 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 And when? 
when. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, so let's remember that what is for asking for some specific information, why is for asking for a reason, then who is for asking for a person or for people, where is for asking about a place, and when is for asking about time. Then let's make some examples using the different question words. So here, you're going to use, first of all, the WH word. This. Get another color. Okay, so we start by grading WH question word. Then we use the verb be. And then we need the, the verb in ing, right? After that, we just add a complement. And it's also important to write or to put the question mark. Okay, so we, we had an example in the conversation. What are you doing, right? What are you doing? Now let's make another example. We would say, let's try to make another question using what? A ver, intentemos hacer una pregunta utilizando what y el present continuous. What is, what, what is it? Uh -huh. Try to use the verb cooking. Uh -huh. For example, we could say, what are you cooking? What are you cooking? What are you making? Or the example in the conversation was, what are you doing, right? So those could be some mm -hmm. examples of questions using what. Please repeat, what? 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 What are you cooking? What? What are you cooking? What are you, cooking? What are you what making? You... What are you making? Okay, now let's try to make some questions using why. Let's see. Let me give you one. Why is Lisa smiling? Por qué Lisa está sonriendo? Why is Lisa smiling? Let's make another one. You see why? A ver, hagamos otra pregunta utilizando why y el present continuous. Mm -hmm. What could it be? Why are you studying English? Why are you studying English? That's a good one. Very well. Next one using who? Let me give you an example that would be who are you waiting for? A quien esperas? Who are you waiting for? Or a quien estas esperando? Make another one, please. Using who? Who are they? Who are they? But remember to use the present continuous. We need the verb in the ing. So Ooh. maybe who are they? Let's add another verb over here. Who are they? Let's say looking for. A quien están buscando? O a quienes están buscando? Who are they looking for? Okay, now we have the question word where. Let me get a different color. 
Where? Where are they going? Where are you from? Where are you from? That one is only with the verb be. Let's try to use the present mm. continuous. Recuerden que en el present continuous siempre necesitamos el verb be y también otro verbo en la forma de ing. Where? <laughs> Where are they playing? Where are they playing? Okay, that's good. Next one is when. When are you going? When are you going? Okay. Say, when are you going? Let's add a place uh, to the park, let's say. When are you going to the park? Make another one, please. Okay. When? When? Any ideas? Think about it. Where are you working in the platform? When are you working in the platform? Very good. All right, so that's what we have for the questions in the present continuous. Now let's practice pronunciation. Please repeat. What are you cooking? What are you cooking? What are you cooking? What are you making? What are you making? Why? Why? Why is Lisa smiling? Why is Lisa smiling? Hi. Why are you studying English? Why are you studying, studying English? Who? 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 Who are you waiting for? Who are you waiting for? Who are, you waiting for? Who are they looking for? Who are they looking for? Where? Where? Where are they going? Where are, Where, they are they Where are they going? Where are they playing? Where are they playing? When? 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 When are you going to the park? Where are you, Where are are you going to the park? When are you working in the platform? When are you working in the platform? All right, pretty well. Now we are going to answer some questions. Just remember that with WH questions, we require more than yes or no, right? We requ require to provide the information we are asked for. So here we got, what are you doing today? Maricela, what can you answer to that? Mm, I, I am listening. The class, I am listening to English class. I am listening to the English class. Very good. Enrique, what are you doing today? No. What are you doing today? <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> Okay, don't worry. What are you doing today? ¿Qué es, qué va a hacer ahora? Or what are you doing? ¿O qué está haciendo? Sorry, can you repeat it? Permito. I am, I am in class English. Okay, I mean the English class. Sería eso. Yes, that's fine. You could also say I'm taking an English class, for example. Very good, Enrique. And our next one says, what are you eating? Carlota, what are you eating? I am eating a sandwich. 
I'm eating a sandwich. Okay, perfect. Anna, what are you eating? I am I am eating a uh, dinner. I'm eating dinner. Okay, very good. Next one. Where are you going, Maricela? I am going uh, watch TV. Watching TV. I'm going to watch TV. Okay, but in this case, we need to mention a place because we're using the word where. Okay, so where are you going? Maybe you could say I'm going see, to I am living room. See, I I going to see. I I going to the park. Okay, I'm going to the park. Very well. Enrique, where are you going? Permita. Okay. Where are you going? Uh, yeah. Going. I I'm going. I'm going. Uh, uh, Santa Tecla. To Santa Tecla. To Santa Tecla. That's good. Okay. Very nice. All right. So with the other questions, I think I have, let's see, 10. Okay. So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. I want you to ask and answer the questions. Is that okay? Los voy a mandar a los grupos pequeños. Trabajan, bueno, en pareja sería. Entonces vamos a ir respondiendo cada una de las preguntas, así como estamos practicando con las primeras tres. Is that fine? Está bien? Yes. Okay, so let me send you to the breakup point right now. Okay. But uh, why? No. Permit me, okay? Stop. I stop. Ya le digo que I am a talk. Si le ponemos I am, ¿cómo es? I am a talking, ¿verdad? I'm English talking. I'm talking in English. Talking. Uh, pero se escribe talking, talking, ¿verdad? Talking, exactly. In English. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Gracias, Miss. También sería to learn English, si no me equivoco. To learn. I'm learning. I'm learning English. To learn English. I am to, to learn English. When are you visiting your parents? When is para... ¿Cuándo, verdad? Yeah. Cuando tú vas a visitar a tus a tus padres, imagino. Yes. Este. I am a visit for Christmas. Christmas. Awesome. I'm visiting my parents. And then you say on Saturday or any date on the weekend. 
next weekend or something like that. Monday. Mm -hmm. On Monday, okay? Mm -hmm. Monday. Um, I'll be sitting. Mañana, si no me equivoco. Sorry, can you repeat that, Enrique? Este, Monday, no, no como, como mañana, se me olvida. Oh, tomorrow. Oh, sí, no. mañana. Mañana, yes. mañana, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. Va. Let me send a word in the chat. Acá le escribo la palabra en el chat. Ok. There you go. Ah, muchas gracias. You're welcome. Así yo le puedo responder. I am visiting my parents on Monday. Yes, I'm visiting my parents on Monday. That's right. A seis sería. Yes, daddy. Uh, no hay que ponerle de complemento yo. Ahí en study. Ay, pasémonos a otra. Tal vez no funciona. Hi, may I help you? Me, me, hello. Puede ir otro verbo. Puede ir otro verbo. Porque, porque si, mm. si yo quiero decir, uh -huh. estoy estudiando para aprender. I'm studying to learn. Sí. Sí se puede usar, ah. usar dos. Sí se puede. Yeah. I'm studying Bye. to learn. Ah. To learn. Oh. To learn. Y si digo porque me gusta, for like. Because I like it. Because I like. Ah. Because I like because, it. Because. Mm -hmm. Or because I like English. Ah, muy bien. Um, bye. Uh -huh. I like English. O sea que mm -hmm. sí pueden ir dos verbos. Sí, sí se puede. Ah, um, bye. No hallábamos cómo responder. Oh. Vaya, pero entonces la otra quedaría. Allá en study. Allá en study. To because I like English. English. Allá en study. Because I like English. Uh -huh. That's okay. correct. Vaya, y la otra mm -hmm. habíamos dicho que quedaba. I am studying to learn English. Sí. That's fine. Vaya, mm -hmm. vamos a la otra. Entonces, Marisela, nos toca ahorita. Sí. ¿Cuándo visitas? Are... When are you visiting? Uh -huh. Busy, busy, busy. Your parents. Uh -huh. I am busy. I my am. parents in Wednesday. Mm -hmm. On Wednesday. Yo, I, Solo para los días de when, la semana oh, se utiliza on. On Wednesday. On. On yes. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. On. I am busy. 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 Visiting. Visiting. My parents in Christmas. In Christmas or on Christmas? On Christmas. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. Or New Year. Okay. Uh -huh. Bye, Balcon. Balcon, nos toca, nos es el. Who are you in the inviting? Inviting. Uh -huh. Repeat, please. Inviting. Who are inviting? Inviting, inviting to the party. Inviting to the party. I, I am invited to the party. I am invited to the park. Así nada más. Um, you must say I who. Am. I'm inviting my friends. Es que I'm inviting I'm my neighbors. Ah. I'm inviting my mm -hmm. classmates. I'm inviting my friends. I am. No, I invite I'm my invited. friends in the park. 
I'm inviting my friends to the party. To the party. Uh, I am, I am, I am, I my family, my family to the party. To the party. Mm -hmm. Party, party. Y, y tiene que ir, I am, I Yes. O solo I. I am or I'm. Con una forma contractada, I'm. I'm. Entonces, sí va. El I am. Los dos. ¿En español qué dice esa oración o yo la estoy traduciendo mal? ¿A quiénes va a invitar a la fiesta? Ah, ¿a quiénes? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yo decía, ¿quién está invitando a la fiesta? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. okay. Entonces, Bye. vamos a invitar a, a los amigos, vamos a invitar uh -huh. a la familia. Bye. Está bien, seguimos ahora, nos toca el número 8. No, no, la 7. When are you finish the English course? Ajá. Okay, do you have any questions about the answers for the WH questions we were working with? No sé si tenemos alguna consulta en cuanto a las preguntas, cómo responder alguna o algo que necesiten chequear. Quizás también cómo repetir la pronunciación para que, para okay. pensarla un poquito. Por sure. favor. Sure. Okay, repeat after me, please. What are you doing today? What, what are, are you doing, doing today? today? What are you eating? What, what are, are you eating? eating? Where are you going? Where, Where are, are you going? going? Why are you studying? Why, Why are, you studying? are you studying? When are you visiting your parents? When, when are you visiting your parents? Who are you inviting to the party? Who are you inviting to the party? Who are you inviting to the party? When are you Who finishing are you the English course? The Where are you finishing the English course? What are you drawing? What are you drawing? Why are you studying English? We are to study English. What are you buying? Where are you buying? Okay, repeat please. Doing. Doing. Eating. Eating. Going. 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 Studying. Studying. Visiting. 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 Inviting. 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 Finishing. Finishing. Drawing. Como? Drawing. 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 Studying. Studying. Buying. 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 All right. Pretty good. Now, in the last couple of minutes that we got, we are going to review the final exam. 
Let me tell you about the first part. It starts with a listening exercise. We need to listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. En esta parte vamos a escuchar la conversación y vamos a ir respondiendo cada una de las preguntas. Acá tenemos, por ejemplo, where's Justin from? And we got some options to answer. She's from Canada, she's from France, she's from Italy. Acá escuchamos, luego respondemos, o mejor dicho, seleccionamos la respuesta correcta para cada una de las preguntas. Nuevamente, eh, les, les recomiendo que escuchemos un máximo de tres veces. De ser posible, con unas dos veces deberíamos de, de obtener la información. También recordemos que no es necesario entender palabra por palabra, sino más bien lo importante acá sería obtener la información que se nos pide. En el caso de, de este ejercicio, las respuestas a cada una de las preguntas. Then, in, in part B, we have to read the answers, then write the questions. Acá vamos a ir leyendo las respuestas y a partir de las respuestas vamos haciendo las preguntas. Como el ejemplo que habíamos hecho previamente, no, they're not from England. Esta misma información vamos a utilizar en la pregunta que nos queda como, are they from England? Lo mismo acá, tenemos la respuesta, esa información la utilizamos en forma de pregunta y eso sería lo que vamos a hacer en los cinco ejercicios. Then we have um, part C, choose the correct adjective to complete the sentences. Acá vamos a ir seleccionando cada una de las, de las opciones correctas para completar la oración. Dependiendo de lo que acá dice, selecciono una palabra que complete la oración. Larry is in serious, he is heavy, funny, or pretty. Ahí seleccionamos nuestra respuesta. Luego vamos a la section D. Choose the correct answer to the question. And here you have some questions like, is this so scarf? Y acá vamos a ir seleccionando. Tenemos tres opciones nuevamente. Seleccionamos la, la respuesta que sea lógica para la pregunta que tenemos. We got, for example, maybe they're Kathy's. No, it's not hers, it's mine. Yes, they're hers. In exercise E, we have to use the correct present continuous form of the verb. Here we have a question, are you wearing jeans? And then we have to select the correct option to answer. No, I wearing a suit. No, I'm wearing a suit. Or no, I am wears a suit. Ahí seleccionamos la respuesta que sea gramaticalmente correcta. And then in section F or in part F, we have to select the correct time. Acá tenemos algunos relojes. Vamos eh, respondiendo a la pregunta, what time is it? Y de igual forma, acá le dan bastantes opciones. Usted solo escoge la que aplica para el reloj que le han puesto. And that will be it for the final exam. Eso sería todo en el final exam. Y de igual forma, recordar que podemos hacer este examen tantas veces como necesitemos. Y también quería explicarle como, es, explicarles como ustedes son nuevos, ¿verdad? Recordemos que acá en la parte donde dice progress, vamos a obtener primeramente el porcentaje que hemos completado en plataforma. De igual forma, eh, hacer énfasis en que tenemos que completar un mínimo del 80% para pasar el curso. Acá a mí me salen los porcentajes bajos porque obviamente no he trabajado todos los ejercicios. Pero en su caso debería de estar como mínimo acá en el 80%. Lo mejor sería que estemos en el 100, ¿verdad? Acá dependiendo de todo lo que haya completado en cada una de las secciones, las barritas van creciendo. Y lo que nos importa más es el porcentaje total, que tiene que ser de 80% o mayor. Y también al llegar al 80%, acá le va detallando también eh, cómo ha, ha resuelto o cómo le ha ido en cada uno de los ejercicios. 
Y luego al llegar al 80%, acá se nos va a habilitar un botón. Si no me equivoco, aparece acá en la esquina superior derecha. Y dice eh, Get Certificate or Download Certificate. Ahí vamos a dar clic para poder obtener nuestro certificado de este módulo 1, ¿ok? No sé si ya lo hicieron, lo del, lo del certificado o alguno. Aún no. Sí, 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 yo ya lo hice. Okay. Sí. Muy bien. Entonces, sí, yo también. Eso sería todo por este curso. Recordemos, por favor, que tenemos hasta el 23 de diciembre para enviar nuevamente nuestros documentos, todo lo que nos han pedido, para poder inscribirnos al módulo número 2. Y de igual forma, si aún no han completado, creo que ustedes sí ya completaron todos, pero igual, recordar por si alguno no ha completado alguna parte, tenemos hasta la medianoche para poder trabajar en plataforma. Y pues eso sería todo por el curso. It was a pleasure to work with you. I hope to see you soon. Espero verlos pronto. Un placer haber compartido este curso con ustedes. Take care. Have a good night. Gracias, gracias a vos. Gracias. Y congratulations to everybody. Gracias. Gracias a todos. Cuida. Gracias. Adiós. Bye bye. Gracias. Good night. Take care. Bye. Bye. Good night.